Hey everyone, Abdullah Me there for Luna Studios and in today's tutorial I'm gonna teach you guys how to create this uh, Iron Man HUD effect inside of After Effects uh, and I'll give you the link uh, to some free uh, HUD assets uh, that I downloaded uh, from a website called Graphic in Motion I think that's the name yes that's the name so let's just see what we're gonna create today uh, go and watch it So here we are inside of After Effects, so this is the footage we'll be using, I shot it uh, in front of a green screen, so just uh, go and uh, drag the footage into new comp, uh, into new comp and just duplicate the footage, uh, hide uh, the uh, down one and go to the upper one and create uh, uh, a rough mask over the uh, subject face, go to mask path and just play with it like this it's really cool tricks uh, to stick any object uh, onto your face uh, if it is uh, uh, a 3d uh, helmet or glasses anything you can stick it uh, onto your face uh, using this trick you don't have to use and the other softwares like uh, uh, F, uh, PF track uh, to track your face so there we got a rough so now we have to uh, 3d track the footage uh, just select the mm, mask layer go to windows uh, tracker uh, select the mask layer and track camera so here we are with the track so uh, i think it's perfectly tracked uh, so let's just see what we got here select the points so right click uh, solid and camera let's just scale down the solid and uh, disable this one and enable this one so So as you can see the solid sticks to the subject head perfectly. So it's really a cool technique uh, for uh, tracking uh, certain objects in your footage in 3D space. So you can use this technique. So I'll just uh, uh, key out the green screen. So here I keyed out the green screen. Uh, so now all we gotta do is just uh, import those HUD elements and put it in 3D space. So let's just uh, uh, you will download uh, the project uh, uh, from the link uh, in the description. Uh, in in the project there are plenty of uh, uh, 3D, plenty of uh, HUD elements like this one. So just drag. Uh, one into here sorry for that my machine is not working properly today so let's just see what we can do parent while holding shift it will get in the position so as you can see uh, the layer perfectly sticks to the head so just delete it for now now we got to do is just okay uh, create a new solid layer black one create uh, this mask around the face and uh, subtract it feather it out so let's just get rid of the lower body so here I and 
animated the mask uh, according to the character so you can do whatever you think looks good so uh, now we have to add those elements so i got this grid so as you can see it perfectly sticks to the face so uh, let's just add more so i got this another element just uh, parent it to the uh, solid you created while holding shift uh, and then uh, go to z space and pu push it forward so we don't want it to stick on the face scale it up and let's just put it on the side rotate it see what we got here so this looks perfectly good so the same technique you can use for uh, each asset so I'll just go and uh, do that for each one of them and we'll see you there got all the elements in here uh, so let's just uh, uh, s drop tint effect on uh, over it let's just drop tint effect on it and with the help of tint effect we can change its color oh god it's so slow so we got the red color for it so we can just uh, go and play for whatever color we want so after tint uh, just drop uh, glow wait uh, okay sorry for that glow and just decrease this thing and uh, glow threshold and increase the radius so 0.7 so let's just drop this on few of them let's see what we get here so this looks fine so after that uh, select all and uh, go to layer pre-compose or just hit ctrl shift and C pre-compose them all so we get this clean timeline so now what we got to do is just add another effect so add optics compensation uh, to the uh, pre-comp uh, check out the uh, lens uh, reverse lens distortion and turn it to 80 field of view so we'll get this uh, uh, wide look so next thing we can do is just add some flares to it so I'll just add optical flares to the layer so here we are with the effect uh, just uh, enable the motion blur for uh, all of the layers uh, so we can get and uh, here the effect it is uh, right here in front of you uh, if you can uh, capture a more close uh, close up of your face you will get the exact uh, inside of uh, that helmet effect so uh, so 
this tutorial was how to mm, get that face track uh, inside of After Effects without using any other uh, build, uh, third party plugin or any other software so you can get that effect inside of After Effects and uh, next week I'll be uploading how to key out the footage uh, key out green screen so stay tuned for that and there's a lot of more Iron Man effects coming uh, 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 in upcoming videos so stay tuned for that too and if you like this tutorial please uh, leave a comment down below and, and like share and subscribe and thanks for watching